So Jesus said, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. So here we are. We're five. So that's good enough. Um, so Jesus is present with us. So let's, let's pray together. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We call upon God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel, God with us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the promised one of the ages. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, may your grace always go before us, and follow after, so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the son of man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say, when he would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel, others will I gather to him besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Responsorial. O God, let all the nations praise you. God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, you sent emissaries to John and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. So the reading from Isaiah reminds us that God is a God for all people, not just the people of Israel. He's not just a tribal God, but who reaches out to foreigners, to people at a distance. And his house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. In the gospel, Jesus calls John a shining lamp testifying to him and in a way that's what we're all called to be to be a shining lamp in the midst of the world a sign of Jesus presence so let's offer our prayers to the Lord we pray for the church We pray for one another. We pray that we may be shining lamps in our world, a sign of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And the Mass today is a Mass offered in thanksgiving to God for the many blessings and graces received by Maria and Joe and their family, and that God will continue to bless them surround them with love and with peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick. We pray for Jenny. We pray for Larry, for his peace of mind, for his healing, for all those we know who need God's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. We pray for Dave Kelly and for John Mullen and for all of our loved ones who have gone before us in faith that God may welcome them into the happiness of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that are within our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. For all these prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, we know that you desire what is good for us. And so we come before you with our prayers and our needs. We ask you to receive them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. O Lord, be pleased with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life.
us pray. O Lord, replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Well, thank you. Be safe going home. Be careful on the roads. God bless you.